has a challenge. Stop announcing yours. How many people are telling you their problem that you are telling them yours? So many people expose themselves because they want sympathy. Everybody knows what you are going through. Everybody knows what you are experiencing. You don't tell people your problem unless they have solution. Anyone that can't help you will hurt you. Stop announcing your problem. Shut up. You talk too much. Everybody knows what you are going through. Everybody knows it. Please, there are many proverbs we grew up to meet that are not correct. Stop saying because there's a long-standing statement that makes it correct. There are many balances that need to be corrected. Because some of them were spoken out of emotion. Some of them were not properly thought through. Who told you a problem shared is a problem solved? It's not true. A problem shared to the right person is a problem partially solved. Because today, a problem shared is a problem advertised. It's a problem expanded. When that woman lost her son in 2 Kings chapter 4, when she saw Gehazi, Gehazi said, it's all well. She said, it is well. A child died. Gehazi said, it's all well. He said, it is well. In other words, you cannot help me. I can't talk to you because you cannot help me. It's all well. He said, it is well. When she met Elisha, I said, man of God. That is who can help you. Stop announcing yourself and your problems to those that can't give you solution. Your landlord knows you have a fibroid. Your tenants know you need fruit of the womb. Are they carrying the fruit to put in the womb? You're crazy. Is it, is it the doctor that will do operation for you? Why don't you have a child? We are believing God. We are planning. We are preparing. Uh, is there a problem? There is no problem. Is there an issue? There is no issue. We are fine. We are good. Am I talking to somebody here? There are people, they feel pain. They want to know your problem. Little thing, you front. From the, from the depiction of your face, people must know you have a problem. They don't ask you, what is it? In fact, when you frown like that and they don't ask you, you're angry. With my face like this, you can't, you can't even know. You can't, are you blind? You can't even know I'm going through something. You can't even know. What's that? Little thing you have done. Hmm. All of those gestures and expressions. Hmm. Then I say, what's going on? Hmm. Nothing. Are you feeling... Hmm, nothing. Well, I pity those who have time to be noticing your breath. You come around me, you may, hmm. Me, I will do, ha. <laughs> you do, hmm. I do, ha, ha. We'll be in competition of who is breathing louder. What, what? Stop seeing that. When you go to places, it's like you walk into the hospital, you see the gate man, you start saying, you say you get a chair. You get a chair for the gate man to see that. You start telling the gate man your problem, diagnosis. He can't help you. When you finish, you see the gate man in the hospital, he say, I want to talk to you. My, my body and neck is paining me. Back, in fact, my head, my shoulder, my knees, my toe. Everywhere is paining me. Get me out with your guy, bed dress. I never collect salary this month. <laughs> Am I communicating here? Everybody! As a challenge. So that guy that was great. So stop looking down. Don't think you are the only one going through what you are going through. In fact, when people tell you what they are going through, you will know you are going through nothing. When people tell you what they are going through, you will, you will know you are going through nothing. Am I communicating here? Yeah? 